Doctor Who and the TARDIS of Blocks. Now there's an idea for a shitty title. Welcome back to the Minecraft TARDIS building series on Ace Jake. Uh, Doctor Who, I almost forgot what channel I was on for a minute there. Uh, so last time we had rigged up redstone for lights around the console room along like a mid tier and the top tier as well as in this little corridor here we'd also built this little outside area which was good this little police box rather and I think before we go any further what I'm gonna do is put some more lights around the bottom area here as well because yeah I feel like we need some lights along here it's a little bit dark underneath so let's brighten things up a little shall we let's put them here have they added new new music to Minecraft since I last played? I've never heard this music track before it's playing in the back. You probably can't hear it on the in the video, but it's kind of nice. Still got too many bats in here. Uh, mind you, any bats are too many bats. I've really got to figure out how to like easily kill them sometime. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. Let's see if I can remember exactly how to do this. I haven't played Minecraft in a little while, so the controls are a little bit uh, alien to me. So this is the last bit of sort of lighting that I want to put in the console room for the time being. Yeah, after that we'll move on to some extra rooms I think, because it's about damn time we did that. Just enjoy this little time lapse montage thing of me rigging up these lights and I will rejoin you in a couple of minutes. Okie dokie, I think that's all of that rigged up, so let's go this way. Let's have a little look-see inside and see if that brightens up the room. Oh yes, that is much better. That is much better. It's still a little dark in places, mind you, but that is much, much better. It's raining outside, fuck it now. Should we put some, should we put some like additional lights in as well, or do, do we think this is good enough? I'm not too sure. I think this is probably good enough for now anyway. We can always rig up some extra stuff a little later on, I suppose. Spooky! Sorry, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll leave it at that for now with the lights. Uh, we can always come back at a later time and put some extras in. I think it's still a little bit dark. But uh, yeah, for now, let's fall down the hole. God damn it. For now, let's pick a corridor and start building rooms. Let's go to the right first. Let's go this way. Okay, so we've got this. We've got the start of a corridor here. Done that all the way around. So let's see. I think the first room that we'll build will be... Let's build the architectural reconfiguration room from Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS because that's the first room in this corridor that I built on my Xbox version of this console or this TARDIS in general. Also going to have to rig up some kind of lighting system in the uh, corridor sometime as well. Let's just put... Let's just put these in as placeholders for the minute and I'll I'll come back through and bring them up at a later time. What would be the best signs to use as well? It's, it kind of annoys me that they're all made of wood really but um, let's just see what that looks like. That doesn't look... I kind of want to use like a blue or a purple sign but then you can't really read the text on them can you? Because it's a bit dark like... yeah that's kind of dark isn't it but then I suppose if we've got I mean, I suppose if we've got lights going in here, then it's not going to be too bad, is it? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try that. Call that console room. I do like putting signs around on my TARDISes. Don't know why, I oh, I just do. Once I've built enough rooms beyond these doors, I'll also put signs on them to sort of say what's through there as well. See, even with night vision potion, you still can't really see the sign, can you? That's very annoying. Yeah, I just don't think a wooden sign looks that good on a sci-fi spaceship build though so like yeah I can always change it at a later date I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see but uh, yeah we'll go a couple more we'll go three more blocks out with this okay that's built out three more blocks so when we walk in it's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven blocks okay let's say here is where we'll have the doorway to this first room not quite sure how we're going to structure this, let me just see. I suppose we could put the stairs there still, couldn't we? Yeah. Okay, so the architectural reconfiguration room has a lot of blackness around, doesn't it? Because it's like, well, it's basically black, isn't it? Yeah, let's use that. 
It was, it was a very dark room. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. That thunder and lightning is. Um... Okay, hold on. Why is it whenever I'm doing creative builds, I always get the worst uh, weather cycles in this game? Actually, yeah, what we'll do is. Let's see, one, two. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, what we'll do actually is build it out like. This is actually kind of difficult because it's. I swear this is like Venter Black or something. Like it's so dark you can barely see like any detail. It's kind of weird. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that fills that in a bit. As if I can hear a bat setting off one of my doors. Do you mind? Okay, let's carry on with this. So I think we'll go one bigger, and then we'll start rounding it off. I want to make like a round uh, room, shall we say? Bloody text messages. Yeah, what I want to try and do is make, because I think, I think in the show, uh, in, in Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS, I think the architectural reconfiguration room was like a round sort of room. I'm saying room quite a bit in this video. Um, oh, this is so difficult to see because it's so fucking dark. What is this material? Okay, that looks good, that looks good. Doesn't need to be huge, after all. Fun little fact, um, I originally in the fan film series, in series one, I was originally going to have an episode set on the TARDIS and we, one of the rooms that we was going to feature was going to be the architectural reconfiguration room but that episode ended up getting scrapped. With the architectural reconfiguration room as well I was going to, I was going to like redesign it because obviously we wouldn't be able to do, obviously we have no budget or space to build anything so we wouldn't have been able to do, have done the big tree thing. So what we did instead was um, well, what I put in the script originally was, it was just going to be like a box, like a computer box thing, and it, would, it wouldn't have looked very interesting, so I'm kind of glad that I did scrap that, to be honest. I don't think it would have been a very interesting episode, personally, if, you know, if, you've, if you've seen the script, you probably would have thought the same. Okay, how do I spell architectural? I'm just going to look it up a moment. A-R-C-H-I-T-E-C-T-U. Okay, I think I got it right. I think I've, I think I spelled that correct. That's good. If I spelled this incorrectly, then I apologise. Just let me know in the comments if I got it wrong. <laughs> okay, architectural reconfiguration system. Okay, so let's try and build the walls next. Those are always a difficult thing to build, especially when the material you're using to build damn things soaks up all light in the universe. Jesus Christ. You probably can't see like any of what's going on on screen right now. Trust me, I can't either. I am just guessing right now. What the hell? This is so freaking dark. What the? <laughs> this is insane. Um, I don't know why I'm so perplexed by this, but uh, there you go, I guess. I'm starting to think using black concrete may have been a mistake. This is really difficult. Okay, well, this is lovely. If I look anywhere but the ceiling or the doorway, it's just nothing but an empty black void. Uh, we really need to get some kind of lighting system rigged up here. <laughs> this is fucking dumb. Let's see, where's the... Let's see if we can find the centre of this thing, which is good. Oh, that, that's not going to fucking work, is it? <laughs> okay. Okay, we need some goddamn light. Oh my god, lighting literally doesn't even help. Like, what the hell? That looks like the middle, I think? Oh no, that looks like the middle, okay. Okay, crisis averted, we haven't screwed up the build so far. So what I'm gonna do is knock out this floor area and build... Oh, I legit can't fucking see a thing right now. I, I don't even know if I'm placing blocks in the right place. This could go horribly wrong. Let's just close this thing off a minute and make it even worse. Okay, I think I'm going to give up on trying to curve the seating all the way because I can't see shit. So we're just going to try and fill this in fully. There we go, let's, we'll do it from down below, that'll make it a bit easier. Well, this place would be a fucking breeding ground for Vashta Narada at least. Okay, I can attach them to there. Because obviously it's a um, like a big tree with uh, orbs on it, so we really want to try and imitate that as best we can. What I'll do is build this up to about here. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, no, wrong button. I'm, 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 I'm dumb. Okay, well, you can kind of see where I'm coming from with this, can't you? Like, you can kind of see where I'm coming from. Doesn't actually look all that good, to be honest, but, uh, 
Okay, right, I've put some sea lanterns in what I think is the uh, the corners or the little dips of the place. Fuck it, I'll put these going all the way down. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference, but at least at least you can actually see that there that this isn't just an endless void now, so that's something. And of course it's raining again. What is it with this game and making it rain when I'm building in creative mode? I have no idea. Okay, that went a bit more messily than I would have hoped, but we've kind of built the architectural reconfiguration system. I'm going to put an extra block, a couple blocks of those there just because. It's not entirely screen accurate, but then again, it doesn't have to be. I think uh, that, that took a bit longer than I thought, so we're going to finish up there for now, I think. I think now would probably be a good time for me to do some off-camera work, and then at the beginning of next episode, I'll just give you like a quick tour of what I've done, and then, then we can just get on and build some more of the fun stuff on camera, you know? But yeah, that was Minecraft Hardest Building Part 4. Um, if you did enjoy, then leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back with another video in uh, roughly a week's time, hopefully. Goodbye for now, guys. See ya!